let's talk about why melatonin might not be helping you get the sleep you need. The melatonin is an over-the-counter drug and it's often given when we're dealing with insomnia. So maybe night after night we can't sleep, we're desperate for anything that's going to help us get more sleep. And so we often turn to these different sleep remedies and melatonin is a common one. You can get it at the drugstore. But a lot of people that I've talked with who I'm treating for insomnia tell me that they're on melatonin or they've tried it in the past and it hasn't been that helpful. So why is that? Because melatonin is a hormone that's released at night. So as we, as we move toward the bedtime hours of the night, our melatonin production goes way up. So you would think if this chemical in our body is going up as we get close to bedtime, and if it's high during our sleep hours, then doesn't it make sense you'd give more of this chemical and we'd probably get more sleep. But when you look at studies that combine all the results from various trials for how effective melatonin is, the advantage that you get is about eight minutes of sleep per night. And if we're really struggling with sleep, that's really just a drop in the bucket. So why is that? Well, let's talk about what the actual role of melatonin is and how we can get effective treatment for our sleep problems. So melatonin is a hormone that's released by the pineal gland. This is a small gland at the center of the brain and it's controlled by the hypothalamus, a center within the hypothalamus that regulates what's called our circadian cycle. You've probably heard of this. It's the roughly 24 hour rhythm that we follow each day and, and that coordinates our internal processes with what's happening externally. So we have light and dark cycles and our hormones, our body temperature, our metabolism are coordinated to match that light and dark cycle. And sleep, of course, is regulated by that circadian cycle. So melatonin is released at nighttime and that's actually true for other species too. But it's not knocking us out. It's not a tranquilizer. What it's doing is telling our bodies and our brains to do species appropriate nighttime behavior. So for humans, that means go to sleep. But if you're a rodent, like a mouse, that means be awake. So there are studies showing that for mice, as melatonin level goes up, they don't go to sleep. They actually get more active. So what melatonin is really doing is telling your body to do the right thing for who you are as a species based on nighttime. Rodents are active at night, so it makes sense as their melatonin goes up, they get more active. So this is why just taking melatonin and then if you're not able to sleep, taking another one thinking it's gonna knock you out, this is why that doesn't work. Because your body may very well already have the signal that it's nighttime, do nighttime appropriate behaviors, but for some reason, it's not able to. Maybe there's stress, maybe there's a pattern of tension and anxiety that's been associated with being in bed. There's some other cause, especially because most of the melatonin you get over the counter is a really high dose, like five or 10 milligrams. Whereas in research studies, they're often using 0 0.1, 0 0.3 milligrams. So it's very likely not the case that a deficit in melatonin is what's driving most of our sleep problems. That's why in terms of recommendations, the guidelines that professional societies give for treating insomnia, they don't recommend melatonin as one of the treatments. What's recommended are other types of medication that have been shown to be effective, as well as CBTI. CBTI stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia. It's been shown in many research studies to be highly effective, doesn't take that long to work. And I'll provide a link in the description if you'd like to learn more about CBTI. Now, melatonin does have some therapeutic uses. It can be used sometimes for helping us shift our circadian rhythm more quickly when you travel across time zones. So you can work with an expert who can help you to time that in a way where you can match up 
your uh, internal cycle with the light dark cycle uh, more quickly than you could without melatonin. And there are other reasons we might want to shift our sleep schedule. Like if we're an extreme night owl and we want to shift to an earlier schedule to be better coordinated with our work schedule, for example, there are protocols that involve melatonin that can help us to make that shift. So if you have questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you as always for watching.